guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you're new to my platform welcome please hit that subscription button it would totally mean the world to me all right so So like I'm gonna just let the message do what it's doing. Two cards came out. We got a gift and relaxation. So the gift of relaxation. You might not have a lot to do right now. So your gift at this point in time is relaxation. Um souvenir, promotion, delight. We have peace, tranquility and easiness so i feel like somebody is at peace right now let's see what these numbers are 36 and 69 which equals 105 so that is six divided by two that's 10 11 12 turns it into three so it's a breakdown all right so we busting something down Okay, here we go. Let's see what they're about to tell us because it's a breakdown. Gift of relaxation. All right, we got a profession here at the bottom of the deck, and it's a number one. So expertise, conscious, and talent, okay? So whatever your talent is, whatever your occupation is. So somebody may be about to take a break, a pause in a situation. All right, messages here. All right, we got coats. So you may be learning something new here. Advice, obedience, and knowledge is what is given. And then we got family here. So you may be taking a break to, you know, bond with your family because it says bond, home, and background. I feel like it's also telling us, um, you know, that when it says time management and schedules because that's important. And then there's indulgence here. So spa time, a break. Somebody may be working too hard. All right, we're going to get the Oracle card here. The Oracle message. So whatever it is that you came to this reading for, you asked your question. And this is going to be your answer. So let's see what the Oracle has to say. All right, the Oracle says reconsider. All right, whatever it is that you've been thinking or whatever it is that you asked, they're saying for you to reconsider because they're trying to get you to think in a different way. All right. Line this up a different in a different direction. We got 36 here. We got 69. We got five. We got 46 and 47. So stepping up family and indulgence. Hang out with your family. Bond. Home. Background. Interactions. Joy and friendliness okay and your family don't necessarily have to be the family that you were born into it's basically saying there's connections because coaching is learning something okay so you're going to learn something from this situation you may think that you not but you will all right so we got ship here this could be about self-care because you know ships are things moving forward it could be something being shipped in a different direction something being shipped off it depends on you know how you want to look at it but a ship is also a vessel and a vessel is also your body so we got safe journeys for you along your pathway so a send off here that's march 3rd significant or important but it's also 33 so that's a master number so you have may have mastered this situation or this circumstance whatever it is you have kind of established like okay I'm, I'm finished with that so you may have gained some type of skill here so you're you learned also finding the silver lining in the situation okay so that's important as well all right take it how it resonates with you that's also a 10 there just so we know so we got 10 um which is a completion and let me see what that is because that that was that that's a I don't know the things that the terms and things and uh, ten of spades. Ten of spades is what? Um, because I don't know the the transfer over from the regular playing card. So a ten of spades is what in tarot? Fulfillment, harmonious relationships, domestic bliss, 
joys of fulfilling life. It can also indicate that your dreams have come true or your dreams are coming true. So Ten of Wands. Um, let's see what we got. All right, so there's another way to do a thing, as long as it gets done. So just so we know, um, that's the card that shows the man carrying the, the uh, autumn stick, y'all, carrying heavy burdens um, and wood. It's a form of like bundles of wood approaching a town, which is not far off. This image on the Ten of Wands indicates a person who has already struggled in life and has succeeded. And now he is carrying the harvest to his final destination. Although he is not near the destination, but he is close. It shows that he has finished the hardest part of the life struggle and that he just needs to place to relax to and reveal his success. All right. So um, you have already completed the cycle of struggle after spending too much or too many re resources and lots of energy looking for success. You have finally overcome the obstacles. Um, the sweat off your brow was worth it. Your efforts have been finally rewarded. You may find yourself living in a world of abundance where poverty and suffering have no chance to intervene, okay? Um, it's also giving me final manifestation as well, so that's your ultimate goal. Um, although it sounds marvelous and satisfying, this card depicts a lot of responsibilities on your side. You're now the sole problem solver in your circle of family and friends which could even propel you into a new world of challenges. Um, at this point, you're also flooded with responsibilities to maintain your success. The businesses that you have started are flourishing and keeping you on your toes. The main problem is that these issues could overwhelm you if you lose control, which requires you to make sure that you know how to prioritize and solve the relevant ones. Um, although it sounds marvelous and satisfying, this card depicts a lot of responsibilities on your side. So be mindful of that, which also tells me that there may be some form of delegation. So you need to learn how to delegate. It's also management skills here. Um, this, in the real world, this card expresses how people try to burden themselves with responsibilities after they attain initial success. It is like graduating from college, getting a job, and then starting to make, make it in a real world. But then there's more challenges. So there's new levels to new devils. So 10 is a completion, just so you know. Um, and we're starting, uh, one cycle ends, another one starts, so now you're responsible. You may find yourself looking after your parents, starting a family, at the end of um, the same time looking to others, which may make you feel as though you are not yet successful. So it's being content with what you're doing. Um, it becomes a burden. It's one of the things that's saying is be happy with what you have. Happiness, true happiness is being true ha happy with what you have. I think that's the way it says but it becomes a burden because at some point you find out nothing is enough to accomplish all these duties. The general lesson of this card is that people should be moderate, everything in moderation, prioritize and understand that they cannot solve everything. Some things must just be let go of, even others that the burden shares. So with love um, aspects, it's like um, work or finances, you may have weighed, weighed on you lately, make it difficult for romantic situations. So everything that you're doing, you may make it difficult for romantic situations um sometimes or it may make it difficult for your family because it's basically saying your family is a gift take the time to relax take the time to hang out with your people and your family again don't necessarily have to be the people that you was born into it could be the people that you are creating co-creating with at this moment in time um if you're attached don't be afraid to ask for help it can ease your lover's worries lighten your worries and also can be a chance for the two of you to become closer together if you're single, don't be afraid to spend time on your own. Everyone needs to focus on themselves before they can focus on finding a partner. Take care of yourself. Um, it also talks about healing, um, delegation, sharing your load with others, collaboration. Um, don't be afraid to ask for assistance. Speak up. Even um, in distribution of your work, if your workload is not particularly heavy right now, it might be that you find the task at hand uncommonly difficult or draining it is still okay to ask for a hand if you need one so in finances um it says it could be um debt on payments or other outstanding balances to consider it might be that large expenses like school or business loans is especially pressing right now you might talk to someone about how best to resolve the issue so there could be a financial planner or just basically you know trying to figure out about your finances um didn't don't do anything brash or generally um, inadvisable, but know that a professional might help depending upon the solutions that will help set you up for the long term. So 
just making sure that okay so in love heavy burdens are not being shared and that a person could be um so if you have a person that means they're not carrying part of the load so again it's another way to do a thing it doesn't matter how it gets done as long as it gets done but in love if you have a partner it could mean that they're not holding up their side of the deal so instead of working as a team one person may be hoarding all the responsibilities perhaps with the best of intentions believing that it protects the other from stress or worse not trusting the other person to be able to help um trust that your partner trust your partner give them a chance to help you when someone loves you they want to see you happy and helping you won't be a burden but a pleasure so know that um and then also just know that it's delegation time okay so it's time to delegate the the situation or circumstances tell somebody else that you need help so that's what this card is actually um there but that would be 13 as well so that's march 13th significant or important for you okay so there's that these messages because taking time for these uh given the numbers be like a lot y'all i hope y'all know so we got a clover here we got 26 and that's good luck so we got happiness here we have um magic mystery we have uh happiness and security holding on to one's luck so holding on to your luck okay all right but again it comes with delegation because the ten of wands carrying the heavy burdens you need to you're trying to hold on to your wealth your blessings and all your things delegation you gotta take some of the uh reconsider giving giving some of the um burdens or some of the load to somebody else all right they can do it it's gonna be okay let them help you all right so we got a whole gang of cards that just flipped over and so i'm gonna take a look at them um we got here let's see we got the star here which is time cycles also zodiacs so that's six, that's 12, 22, a master number. So mastery again, astrology, constellations, zodiac signs. Somebody may be into astrology or somebody may be looking at cycles, moon cycles, um, astrological uh, signs, or what is it? The, uh, the constellations. Somebody may be looking into that. But it's also given a, what is a, a telescope? So maybe taking a closer look into something. The number 16, um, we have March 16th, we have March 6th, and then March, uh, February the 22nd is there. We have garden here. So this is getting ready to give me some past life shit. And I, I grabbed my past life deck, the first set of cards that I grabbed anyway when, before I started this. So that is 28 there. So February 28th, March 8th, March 20th, February 20th. We got fertility. We got nourishment. We got abundance. We got spirituality. We got the garden, which is also getting given Eden, which is also perfection, but also is given the tree of life. So that would be God and also um, your family tree. So your heritage, your legacy. Then we have heart here. And I don't know with the Joker, the, is that Jack? Jack is the Joker, right? So somebody's initials may be J, first, middle, or last. Um, we got, the number is 24. We got finding security and love, all right? So that may be significant or important to you. Um, finding security or establishing security. All right, so what is that? What is the Joker? In tarot. All right, so apparently, oh, that's the Fool card. Okay, so um, new beginnings. Y'all already know that. So new beginnings, ultimate potential, and the ability to embrace change. The Fool is also associated with folly, mania and intoxication okay so take that as it resonates because you know i normally look at it as the the start the fresh start but it means also holding on to your relationship too so the beginning of a new love or the beginning of you know getting rid of because manic is 
you don't know what manic is continuing to want to just overly something um we got solid foundations here that's a woman so we got a female here a divine feminine that's an ace that what is that an ace of spades on this deck so whatever the equivalent of an ace of spades is because to me it would be given like a new beginning um i don't know what are spades first of all right so we got swords communication communication hearts must be cups because i can almost correlate that because that's emotions and things of that nature um so lots of communication here we got a king of spades so it's a king of swords here um ace of hearts that would be a ace of ace of cups that's new cycles new beginnings this card would look like the magician card so we got time cycles um forget the past and i'm gonna actually probably go through here and write these on here because i wrote everything else on here it's uh more communication and updating things so we got journey past present and future but it's telling you to forget the past it's being present right here right now and it's the gift the gift of being here um let's see we got gentlemen here so somebody's gonna meet a, a distinguished gentleman somebody that's older um we got 28 or 82 significant but that's also a 10 a completion so a cycle that's coming in somebody meets an older gentleman all right we got lilies here that's also like making me think the person somebody might like lilies that might be the thing that this person likes or the thing that you how you recognize this person this person might give you uh lily we got this is a king of king of swords if that's the case because that says those spades are king of swords so that would be a king of swords we got sex pleasure comfort virtue pu uh, purity and morality so i feel like put some respect on your name this person's gonna want to be like in a committed relationship with you because this person ain't gonna want to it says morality purity virtue they want to protect your virtue okay all right, so we got uh, reaching a goal or communication, um, and it's the anchor. So somebody trying to hold you down, and I don't mean in a bad way, because, you know, this holding you down means supporting you. But on the flip side of that, it could be somebody that's trying to hold you down, because as one thing exists, so does the other. So you could take this, well, everything that I said, and apply it to something different in a different Why is there so many damn commercials popping up? What in the, is this how they be playing my videos? All right, so we got a closer look here, a deeper meaning. 44, so read, and I said something about looking closer. So reading the fine print, this is also, I don't know if somebody's getting a prenup or somebody need a prenup, but or they stand, definitely get a prenup. Because it said, read the fine print, um, a deeper meaning. But this is also a deeper connection that could be there. Read the fine print, all right? So it feels like to me, like whatever this connection is, make sure you read the fine print. We got a letter here, which gave me Aaliyah, a four-page letter. Um, we got information, and on top of that, that just made me, reminded me of the attention. So, making sure that I'm paying attention because I got looked at that, and then it just made me not realize what I was going to say after that. So, we got solid, focused, restrained, and female, and that's the ace. Um, so, that's, like I said, communication, new communication, new connections, new beginnings, new blessings, new situations new circumstances taking place for you um a connection with family and the heart here so somebody's getting ready to get connected and to a distinguished gentleman okay that's what that said all right two cards come in here we got the cross and we have the moon so somebody may be star cross star cross lovers here we got emotions and illusions um, you're not seeing everything, so you may not know what's actually happening with your twin flame on this realm here. But we got Christians and religious, so and spiritual. Christian, religious, spiritual. So any um denomination. So it didn't just have to be Christian, but it was the cross that was there. So the cross that you have to bear. But somebody it could be Star Cross lovers. So somebody star cross. It's just you know, it's like Rome, Romeo and Juliet. They were star-crossed. 
Matter of fact, let's look this up because I feel like it's saying we got anchor here fell, falling out. So somebody trying to hold you down. They and I keep saying hold you down, but not in a bad way. So somebody want to hold you, hold you down. All right, let's see what the star cross means so that way we can get a better idea. All right, so they got plenty of definitions, but they don't have it says opposed by fate, ill fated. So ill fated, somebody may be ill fated. And I feel like it's because if that's the case, because, and look, the first thing they put in is Romeo and Juliet. So let me see, maybe Rome, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, maybe you and this person may be Romeo and Juliet from a past life. Star cross is a phrase used to describe a situation when lovers cannot find happiness with each other for some tragic reason. Mm, that must be me and my person, because good God, um, my old person. All right, um, the term derives from the belief of the ancients and astrology which held that the fates of individuals were determined by the positions of the planets the moon the stars and the constellations y'all why is this fitness all right so uh relative to earth and the sun at the moment of their birth thus if the stars of two individuals are not aligned uh prop propitiously um and i think i said that right they cannot find happiness together in the case of Romeo and Juliet, it was because their families were embroiled in a generational feud and were sworn to kill each other. All right, well, period. Because guess what? That's what I said about this mother sucker. So, um, yeah, they must be talking to me. Because literally, I feel star-crossed with a person. And I already said, you try to do something to me in this lifetime, bitch, I don't ever want to come back here anyway. But if I do... In the next lifetime, your ass is grass, okay? Period. Because if I see you, I'm going to already know. Because the person tried to harm me in this lifetime. So, guess what? It ain't no next time. It's period on sight, okay? So, know that. So, I feel like I got that with somebody. But I, I just developed that for somebody. All right. So, let's see if there's anything else that we need to know or see. So, that may be a feeling that somebody has. Either way, somebody star cross, but they're saying. All right, so hold on. Maybe I need to pull this. Let me pull this past life card real quick because I feel like this was the first set that I got. And this card moving. So, somebody trying to hold you down. A star cross lover could be trying to hold you back. So, we got two scenarios, two situations happening here. All right, you got a star cross situation. Damn, y'all. That card popped out crazy. Yeah, it's this mother sucker, y'all. So we got a truth seeker, investigation, somebody spying, questioning your authority, a questioning of authority, um, and spiritual questioning, all right? All I feel is spiritual trespassing from somebody. All right, so the love was a widow or a widower. The identity, you could have been a wife. The time frame, late modern ages, ages. Late modern age, lesson, walking the middle path, you died from childbirth, location was the Middle East, trauma, material loss, faith, philosophical. All right, there's that. All right, I don't know, these cards just hopping up out of this piece too. Um, aesthetic. We got Buddhist ascetic, Christian ascetic, hermit, and mystic. mystic. Y'all, I said different religions. Look what I say on that card. I said there was different religions. I don't know why it put there, but it, it was the cross. That was your cross to bear. And where'd the card go? What I didn't put it back? All right, somebody trying to cover it up because I literally put that bitch back. All right, so we got trauma from a disaster. Your faith was magic-based. Your love was non-possessive. Your identity, you could have been an adult female. The time frame, Neolithic Revolution. The lesson was overcoming loss. You died from a drowning. The location was North America. The disaster was trauma. Um, or the trauma was a disaster. Your faith was magic-based. Love, non-possessive. You were adult female. All right. Let's see what else you got here. Y'all see how these cards are hopping out? Hopping out and wrote, okay, so gift, it fell out over gift, okay? So the gift, it says torture. Damn. All right, um, let's see how this intertwines, because it literally, literally flew out there. Reconsider and gift. So I'm going to put it here, but it said victim, witness, 
um, informer or you were the torturer. All right, the love, you were a widow or a widower. Cause it, so it's saying you could have been a man or a woman. Identity, a wife. So put yourself in whatever shoes. Late time frame, late modern. I mean, time frame was late modern age. The lesson was walk in the middle path, which is two people. And y'all, I be, mm, they, may, they might be talking to me too still because literally I be walking the middle path because, you know, that's what it is. And even in this life, I'm still walking the middle path. Um, you die from childbirth. The location was the Middle East. Middle East is definitely important. Trauma, material loss, faith, philosophical. And material loss could be like leading into this lifetime as a poverty mindset. So be very careful about that. The Middle East also may be attracting you or calling you in this lifetime. So you may be saying, I got to go visit distant lands not even knowing why but it's because you need to touch your heart is not going to stop until you touch the lands of where you come from okay so that could be a thing that's dealing with you in this lifetime um childbirth or um because both two people two things said something about childbirth so that could be actually kind of you know playing out in this lifetime too so there's that and then, like, three more cards just came out. So, I'm going to put these down because the ending is the end right there. So, I'm going to put them down. And then, we're going to go with this. We got athletic. You could have been a gladiator, a duelist, into martial arts, or other. I, I like that one, too, because I swear I'll be, like, thinking that. But identity, you were an adult female time frame, Neolithic revolution, lesson, overcoming loss, death was a drowning location was north america trauma is a disaster um faith magic based love non-possessive okay and it's identity adult female y'all and i ain't gonna lie because sometimes i'll be like you know with the water thing because i have a pool and you know what they say you know about things um once you add things to your life so with me um because i have a pool the potential for me dying from drowning then increased because I could, you know, be walking by, pass out, fall in the pool, dead. All right. But also, it's like with a gun or anything else. When you bring things close to you, now your chances for dying from that from that, have now increased. So, just be careful of the things that you are attracting into your life in this, this realm. Because those play, you know, a part in it. And I could have died from a, a drowning in a previous lifetime. And it could not even be from me falling in the pool. It could be from something from a river or something else like that. So, but just so you're clear, certain things of that nature are, you know, traumas. So half the time, I don't even go in my backyard unless somebody's here. Because, again, that that is a real thing. Once you start bringing stuff close to you, the chances of it being the thing that fucks you up is increased, okay? So we got... Rise of a civil civilization could have been a planner, a developer, a dreamer, or an organizer. And this right now is the time of growth and expansion. We're building for the kingdom. So I feel like all of us could potentially be playing this part right here. Um, we got trauma was a betrayal. Your faith was profit-led. Love, promiscuous. Identity, other relative. Time frame, age of discovery. Lesson, overcoming fear. This will be... Um, working in this lifetime, it may be a thing about you being a leader. They're calling you to be a great leader and you could kind of be kind of pushing it back, trying to reject it. But it's saying this could be one of the things that you could potentially be dealing with in this lifetime. Okay. So death, you die from a public execution. That could be the reason why you don't want to be the forefront person. You saying not nah, get somebody else to do it because in a previous lifetime, you may have been a person that stood up and then you got carried to the, you know, the firing line. All right. So your lesson is overcoming fear. You died from public execution. The location was Russia. OK. And Russia may be calling some of y'all. That may be the thing. Um, so we got royal rural living here. You could have been a peasant, a farmer, a woodsman or a hunter. OK. And Hunter gave me what is the celestial, the, the hunter, the seven sisters. Um, who is the hunter? That's a. Uh, whoever the hunter is all right so because i don't know why i can't think of nothing right now all right we got time frames uh, american civil war air all right the lesson passive conformity 
you died from torture. Hold on. Okay, I did say that. You died because you were tortured. Um, the location was underground civilization. We got trauma, uh, philosophical or verbal abuse. And that may be one of the things. Because honestly, I tell a motherfucker real quick, don't talk to me like that. And it could be something from a past life. Like to me, in my mind, you got to teach people how to treat you. Or they could just be okay with you not being there. Because I'm not going to be in your presence. And then you try to talk to me any type of way. You can get somebody else to do that. So we got... Uh, the location, underground, civilization, trauma, physiolog uh, philosoph mm, psychology, why I can't say this word now, I just did, let, said it, psychological or verbal abuse, okay, so somebody trying to play in your face, I don't like that, so uh, real quick, this could potentially be something that I got to work with, because these are people who also have a problem with, like, thor authority problems, because we don't want people telling us what to do, you, you do it yourself, if you know how to do something so well, do it yourself. Because when I know how to do something so well, I just do it myself. So faith could have been a cult. That could have be all of us. Because again, tarot, they you know what they call us. So again, all of us here could be dealing with the same issue. Companion, the love was companionship, identity. You were a friend. Time frame, American Civil War era, and lesson passive conformity. All right. So what I I just did a reading what the three days ago. We don't conform situations are conforming to us and that could be something that we're dealing with in this lifetime as well okay so um you died from torture so there's that all right um let's see what we got we're gonna take these cards right here so we got gift relaxation coach and family so hang an indulgence hanging out with your family then we got ship clover and anchor so good luck yes somebody's good luck charm but i'm also getting like a muse okay a muse energy could potentially be someone's muse or them being your muse because i told you something about creative creativity and artistry is connecting right now so co-creating okay so we have nature so getting out in nature getting connected with nature is important I feel like nature spirits also are important to you. It's got a rock with a face on it right there. It's got a mushroom with a face on it. So there's energy in everything. It's contentment. You being content where you are at this place in time, okay? Significant and important. Relax. Be content with your family, your friends, um, the lessons that you have learned, your body, because um, it could be giving self-image because a ship being a vessel and a vessel being your body it could be talking about be content with your body image or being content with your, you know, the way you are, your appearance. That would be your ego, your self-esteem. Okay? Because that's what ego is, your self-esteem. Being content with your body, being content with who you are. Um, uplifting yourself, because key word there is self. Nobody can make you feel a way but you. All right? And being mindful of that. So that's just being happy in, in the place that you are. All right, we got channeling here, all right? So gaining knowledge, gaining wisdom. We got the birds. We got, I think that looks like cherries. But again, we got rocks with faces on it. So it's, And that looked like the tree that's moving. I forgot what them trees that are moving are called as well. That's another thing. So somebody just said, I got to save this. So somebody, and that's, these are messages that are popping across my screen as I'm doing this reading at this moment in time. So somebody may be thinking, I got to save this situation. I got to save the message. I got to save the communication. But something about it, somebody said, I got to save that. All right, we got hope here. So hope and healing. That's also like when you hope for something, that means that you're uh, waiting or you're, you're eager. You're looking forward to it, okay? So looking forward to something. So you may not have achieved um, contentment yet, but you could be hoping for it. I feel like it's peace is priceless, okay? So being content would be like priceless. That would be like the ultimate goal. Being in a situation or a place where everything is just good. We got open, so the door is open. Knock and you shall answer. Uh-oh, I almost dropped my damn cards. Um, but either way, it's open. So open, open here. That could be open to communication. It could be open to just open, all right? So you just open to whatever it is. Be open to whatever the universe, the enlightenment, because y'all see he got a little candle there. So we got believe in the magic. So hope and believe. 
I feel like those are also affirmations or um, it's manifestation and wander. So hope, believe, and wander. You can imagine anything you can imagine, you can make it real. Magician energy. So standing in your true power or your uh, the full power. But channeling, it's like finding your inspiration to be able to channel because that tree look like it's moving. All right. But there's also birds that are there. Like either they're eating off the tree, but the tree moving it, it's like the sustenance being just given. All right. So the sustenance is being given. The nutrients or nurturing is being given. All right, so that just flew right on off. All right, we got earth magic is important. So grounding, we got a tree here, tree hugging, and it says nature. So earth magic and nature is definitely important to you right now. It's charging your crystals. I think she got salt and she got a magic wand. I'm making my wand, y'all. I got a stick that I um actually, I, I was drying it out. I had it for a long time. And I wanted to make a wand with it because I wanted to do like the arts and craft of the wand. But she literally has her own wand. So, and it came off of a oak tree. Oak tree, I think. And oak is supposed to be like a steady, uh, uh, sturdy type wood. So, there's that. All right, we have um, find your inspiration. Didn't I say that already? I think I did. So, inspiration and courage. It says hope, wonder, and believe in yourself. And also, exploration is there. So, have the courage to explore. Explore your magic is basically what I feel like they're saying. Like, um, imagine and envision right there. Um, that's a manifestation. So, explore what works for you. We got the crown, the, the crown there. We got the castle. We got the clover, clover there again. So, that's good luck fortune we got butterflies transition change we got the fish there pisces energy um schools so fish are, are schools that's knowledge wisdom understanding because god gave pisces understanding we got a cat there a feminine energy a feline um that could be a familiar energy also we got secure in the bag because it's money there um we got i don't know if that's a flying rat i hope it ain't but it may be a flying rat um, we got also a unicorn there. You have to be a pure soul in order to be able to see a unicorn. So that's heart as light as a feather. All right. So imagination and envision, inspiration and courage. Also tapping into your earth magic is significant y'all. But either way, I told y'all already the door is open. Okay. So the door has been open for you to take the reins or to do whatever it is that's necessary for you to do in order to advance. So the door is open. Um, we got meditation for creativity here. So definitely trying to tap into meditate, go with the flow. All right. So definitely going with the flow, significant or important, because if you try to fight against the, the tides or the wind or the, uh, the current, yeah, you're going to be hurting yourself. You're going to be bruised and battered when all they're saying is the universe is trying to take you to a certain location, um, or point you in a certain direction. Just go with the flow. Okay. So meditation for creativity. And this person has a wand as well. He has a wand. She has a wand. I'm making my wand. I don't even care. All right. So go with the flow. All right. So let's see what else we got here. We got 33, which is a master number is what I'm looking at. And we got 234 is also what I'm looking at. Let me see what 234 means. So 234 two three four spiritual number which was coming out a couple of times um i didn't see that uh two three four is said to have a deep meaning when it comes to making dreams come true it suggests that thinking positively and imagining what you want can actually make it happen your thoughts are like magic tools that can shape your life um which she is sitting here writing um, and as her imagination, um, it says, imagine and envision she's writing down whatever it is she's writing in her book. And it looks like the, the writing is what's creating all the images that are there. So your imagination is key, remaining positive, knowing what you want, knowing the direction. So it could be the scripture is, uh, 
write it, make it plain. So it could be given that that vibe. Write the write the vision and make it clear. That's the scripture from the Bible. All right, so we got um let's see, when you're seeing two, three, four, it's like the universe is sending you a message to find harmony, express yourself authentically, and to create stability in both love and money. Two, three, four has a deep meaning when it comes to making your dreams come true. It is telling you that thinking positively and imagining what you want can actually make it happen. Your thoughts are like magic tools that can shape your life. Um, two, three, four can mean that you should imagine yourself strong and well. Believe that your body can heal and be fit. And if you're chasing a job, two, three, four reminds you to picture yourself as successful and keep telling yourself that. Two, three, four also says that you need to take real steps towards your dreams. Imagine you want to start a business. When two, three, four shows up, it might be a sign to start planning your businesses or to find someone who can guide you in that direction. All right. So it says when it comes to matters of the heart, two, three, four is telling you to seek balance in your relationships. If you're in a partnership, focus on cooperation and harmony. If you're single, this number encourages you to be true to yourself while opening your heart to new connections. Um, 234 is a general reminder to create solid financial foundations. This number suggests making practical choices, budgeting wisely, and building a stable monetary base. By finding a balance between spending and saving, you can manifest financial stability. So then it has 234 serves as a guide and as a reminder to express your authentic self and to find joy in your spiritual practices. Embrace creativity and self-discovery, whether it's through meditation or, or reflection. Align your actions with your spiritual inspirations, okay? So it says how to practice a, um, with angel number 234. First is seek balance. Two, express yourself. Three, financial mindful, mindfulness. Take practical steps towards financial stability, budget wisely, save smartly, and make mindful spending choices. A soulful exploration, imagine and uh, a spiritual ex practices that resonate with you, whether it's meditation, journaling, or exploring new avenues of self-discovery. Follow your heart's calling. So 234 carries a positive message and encourages you to find balance and love, creating stability in your finances, and embrace authentic authenticity on your spiritual journey by heeding this guidance you can navigate life's path with harmony joy and a strong foundation so we have that okay so let's see what else we got here all right so all i hear is the the players so we're gonna find out the players so the players are significant and important all right so one is you on your pathway all right so the pathways are important the thought process is here we got, damn, all these cards came out at one time, so I'm going to put them all back, but I'm going to tell you what they are. Um, we got a journey, a child, and imprisonment, okay? So, let's see. Journey would be like um, travel and adventure um, movement, okay? It's also a 10, so a completion here, um, but ending and a beginning. So, ending one phase and starting a new one, so on a new phase. All right, child. So a child could represent a child, like a real child, a 3D child, a kid. Um, it could also be your inner child. So that is a thing. Children are young, um, innocent. So it could represent innocent. It could be a new journey. Like you just like full energy, innocence. Let's go ahead and, you know, get this thing done. Um, it could also represent whatever it represents for you. Okay. So I just want you to think outside of the box. This child could represent so many different things. The number here is 81. So that could be the year somebody was born, but it's also nine and then 10. So nine is also a completion because it leads into 10. So the ending, that's the final phase of that and moving into the next phase, which is 10, which is the start of the new journey. Okay. So there's that. We also have a master number here, 11, but it's 29, 2 and 9 turns into 11, so mastering, that means imprisonment, you being let, set free, let go, um, prison is also four walls, I don't know why, I've never seen H in this, it's a H here, it's a C there, it's a M there, it's a T there, it's a L there, um, it's a J there, it's a P there, 
it's these waves right here on this, this side. Um, I think there's an R there. So these are initials, first, middle, or last. They, we also have this key. So being released. So somebody may be about to be released from imprisonment. And imprisonment could be spiritual um, prison or it could be 3D prison. Or it could be you holding yourself back, imprisonment, holding it yourself back, lockdown. Okay, so take it how it resonates for you, but that is a master number. So, and it also goes eight, oh, hold on, what was that? Nine, nine, ten, and eleven. So, nine, ten, and eleven. Let's see what that means. Y'all, these, these things just be doing the most. So, nine, ten, and eleven. Let's see what that means. Nine, ten, eleven. Go. All right. So, but it, it actually takes it to nine, ten, and one. Let's see. Nine. I'm gonna separate them because literally, I put them together. But and it came up with nine, ten, and then one. So I'm gonna separate them, and then. When seeing the numbers 9, 10, and 11 frequently, what does that mean? So, let's see. Because it would be a, a level up, an ascension, an elevation to me. Um, are often associated with numerology where each number is believed to have its own significance and symbolism. Symbolism In numerology, 9 is associated with completion and humanitarian, humanitarianism. When 10 with independence and leadership and 11 with spiritual awakening and intuition. However, it's important to note that numerology is based off a system and not a science. So interpret interpretations can vary wisely as widely. And if you're seeing these numbers frequently, it can also be a coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence. Okay. So let's see. Their frequency appears in your life may be a sign that your subconscious or higher power that you are on the right track and that you're ready to receive guidance and support. So when a student is ready, the teacher will appear. So that's also an ascension and elevation, all right? Just so we're clear. And let's see. All right, so I'm going to leave it at that because literally it's given. Let's just figure it out. I don't know how this card got in here, but it don't belong in here. But air magic. So there is a, what do you call that, insertion on your pathway. So you may be being called to use different parts of different sections of magic at different sections of time. Because literally air magic was in here and that don't belong in here. All right. So that card don't even belong here. Something could potentially be out of out of place. Why is this shit playing like that? All right. So we got judication here. Somebody may be being released from prison or there's a law situation happening here because judgment could be in a courtroom, it could be you judging yourself harshly, or it could be, or you just judging yourself in a way, because you know we are our, tough, our own personal toughest critic, right? Um, or it could be public opinion, so judgment from the people, but I feel like it could potentially be something law, so somebody being shifted or moved from one location to the next. Um, you are not a child anymore. When you were a child, you thought you did things as a child. When you became an adult, you did things as an adult, so... It could be restrictions that were had at one point in time, but it looks like somebody's being released. Somebody's journey, they're being released, okay? Or there's some movement along your journey. So no more restrictions, no more hesitation, because imprisonment is a box, okay? You being stuck, you being stagnant. There's no movement in jail, all right? There could be growth, maybe, you know, because you could learn some stuff. Um, so maybe I guess I might have to take that back. There could potentially be movement in jail, but I feel like going back in front of the judge, let's see what happens. All right. Yeah. Somebody being released to their family. We got 21 and that's also three. All right. So the family room, but the family room looks empty. So maybe people are not in position or they're not where you were when you left them or not. Or maybe you're starting something different because also here, that's a beginning of something new. So maybe you could be leaving the family. The family may be the prison. And that may be the thing. You might not be content with the people that you were, you know, around. All right. Either way, it's saying the gift is the connection, the partnerships, the blessings. If you don't feel blessed by being around those people, you got to go to, you know, somewhere else that makes you happy. But they're saying tapping into your magic manifestation gets you out of this place. 
I also feel like I should have to tell y'all that when we ask for things, we don't get to tell the universe or God how to bring them into our lives. So I feel like I have to say, be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. So this is one of the moments where be careful what you wish for because you just might get it is being put and applied, okay? All right, give me messages for the collective, please. The messages for the collective. Messages for Pisces collective, please. All right, so let's see what that was. All right, your love life is being affected or changed. So there's that. We got the lover's card. All right, lover's card could be a love connection. Somebody being released from a marriage, a relationship, a partnership, a connection, or a choice that you're making. All right, so I feel like, because I heard, I'm going to choose me. I'm going to choose me every time. All right, so 15 or 51 is significant and important. All right, we got 29, which was February 29th, which is this year has been a leap year. So something pertaining to this year and your journey being different your journey changing or your pathway changing all right we got poverty here so piss poor mindset or lack somebody may have had a lack of love in their life okay so there's that seven eight nine ten that's also a completion so no poverty mindset anymore it's i learned from this and i know that i should i'm worthy of certain things because seven and three is ten so there's an elevation from that you know that you deserve this you know that you deserve good things. All right, so somebody is definitely be re being released. Their, their pathway, their journey is definitely clear. There's something that's changing, all right? And it said lovers and then poverty. So like I said, poverty being a 10, it's being released. And I said something about a rat on there, and there's a rat right there or a mouse or whatever y'all want to call it. But he looked like he's moving with this. So... Maybe somebody got a pet rat or a pet mouse. Or maybe somebody's familiar is a mouse. Um, I also was looking at something. They were saying mice or, or rats are very clean energies. I don't understand. Let me look up what a rat means. Because maybe that might help understand what this is. And y'all, y'all see everything seems like need to be looked up. All right. Rats and spirituality. Rats or mice. And I mean, you have to take what it you take it how it resonates for you, but I don't consider mice to be clean or rats to be clean. But literally, I did see something yesterday because it looked like this thing, this mount, this rat had took this blanket, and his babies was laying on it, and somebody I read comment, so I was looking at that. Okay, in many cultures, rats and mice have different. Oh, and y'all, I looked up something because it was talking about people in India. Um, because, you know, the rats be running around, they be having them on the food and this, that, and the third. And there's a story, an Indian, Indian story or a prophecy that talks about that the spirits of their loved ones and stuff get put inside of the rats. That's why they coexist with them the way that they do, so they don't kill them. Because they believe that they're passed over loved ones. So, again, it's culture-based. So, there's a misunderstanding of culture, just so we, you know. Um, in many cultures, rats and mice have a different spiritual meaning. For example, rats are often associated with evil, death, and decay, while mice are associated with fertility and abundance and the future. In some cultures, mice are also associated with negative traits like uncleanliness and pests. Okay, so let's see if I can get to it. All right, so here are some examples of rats and mice in spirituality. Christian symbolism. In the Bible, the Hebrew term akbar refers to rodents like rats, hamsters, mice, and gerbils. And is also associated with evil. In Christianity, rats are also associated with the devil. The only time I ever heard the word uh, Akbar, I think that I thought that was Muslim or something. But okay, here we go. So we're learning something. In Christianity, rats are associated with the devil. All right. Celtic symbolism. Rats are said to have a sixth, sixth sense for predicting the future, especially impeding comedy. All right. So here the rat looked like it got a got wings so i feel like and she's manifesting and so somehow the significance of the rat seems like it would be good because it's with money it's with castles it's like something that she basically is manifesting into her life she got love she got the fish there um she got the ring and then then she put a rat so 
Um, ancient Korean folklore, rats are believed to foretell the fortunes of agricultural endeavors and ships and are the subject of religious worship. Y'all hear this? So ships, as you know, are vessels, your body, um, because the etymology of a word, there we go. So agricultural, which would agricultural is like things that are uh, cultivated. Uh, fertility, because, you know, plants grow. Um, and so there's that. Rats are believed to foretell the fortunes of agricultural endeavors and ships and are subject to religious warships. Um, biblical symboli symbolism. So six, four, and five mice are seen as a symbol of God's judgment upon them. And some interpretations, mice and dreams may represent unclean or impure influences in one lot in one's life. All right. So then there's that. So then we say um, numerous. Okay. So let's see what it stops. Numerous cultures associate mice with fertility and abundance. On the other hand, some people see the mice as an indicator of approaching disease or death. Seeing a mouse in real life or in a dream could be a lucky or unlucky sign depending upon what's going on in your life. Okay, so a mouse is connected to abundance and fertility in several cultures. However, mice are viewed by some as signs of impending illness and demise as well. Depending upon what is going on in your life, seeing a mouse in real life or in a dream might be an auspicious or inauspicious sign. In Hindu faith, the mouse is believed to be the vehicle of Lord Gang Ganesha. All right, so vehicle, vessel, body. Again, y'all hear, y'all see what I'm saying? So each one of these things, you need to know, like, the meaning behind it. Because it says it's believed to be the vehicle of Lord Gan Ganesha. Um, the deity associated with learning and wisdom. They also represent intelligence and strategic thinking, as well as the capacity to delve deeply into details in order to un uncover answers. Somebody has a rat or a mouse as a familiar. There's also a cat. Excuse me, a cat there, just so we're clear. Um, because it says poverty. This person don't have what they have, but this person is also walking. They got like... Um, I think that's the sweeper, the roof, the the fire, the fireplace sweeper or something that's there. I think that's what that is. Um, so again, cultural differences here. Um, let's see. And many cultures view mice as bright and diligent animals, despite its uh, diminutive size. It is capable of many things, including providing for its family and itself. Um, rats can also move into tiny places so if somebody has a rat as a familiar or a mice a mice or a mouse you know i guess depending upon because i said mice that means there's plural that's more than one a mouse would be one um so if somebody has mice that person might be pretty dangerous because literally because it's giving pied piper energy for one they control the mice but also the mice would be monitoring spirits so if you're dealing with a mice infestation or something of that nature, it could be because whoever this person is controlling them would be trying to gain information on you. So again, cultural differences could be how it could be seen. So um, one, unseen threats. Similar to how mice might arise out of nowhere, they are seen as impeding dangers in life and should be taken seriously. Two, timelessness. Given that mice are re uh, recognized for their speed, it seems to re reason that some chores or areas of life should be completed more quickly. Y'all hear that? So if you see a mice, it mean, might mean that some things need to be done a little bit more quickly. Um, three, it says stay humble throughout challenges. Um, being the vehicle of Lord Ganesha, the mice or mouse is symbolic of knowledge, insight, and cunning problem solving. It also serves as a helpful reminder of the need to maintain discretion and humility while facing life's obstacles. Number four, it says adapt to change. Mice are renowned for their innovativeness and adaptability. They stand for the necessity of adaptability in daily life. All right, number five, destructions of one asset, one's assets. Since mice like, a, like to chew on objects, their chewing is a metaphor for the possible destruction of valuables or alternatively for wealth and harmony. Six, disease and bad health. 
Mice are depicted as lowly animals and are connected with filth. Indeed, mice and rats can multiply in unclean situations and they are associated with debris. A mouse's look can represent illness or even death. These rodents are thought to be powerful transmitters and carriers of harmful disease. Seven, delay in rewards and recognition. Mice seem to be busy uh, scuttling around sometimes with no apparent purpose. Seeing a mouse in real life or having a mouse-related dream can indicate that you are taking on too much. And then we talked about heavy burdens and all that stuff too as well. So that might be a reference to that. Um, you're working really hard on a project, relationship, or business venture. Um but the results do not match the effort you're putting in. Okay, so there's all that. But like I said, in one of these cases, this mouse looks like she's manifesting good things. Then here, imprisonment, there's a mouse there too. So that's three, and that's a confirmation. So things come in threes. So just know that, one, two, three. But there's also doves there. There's unicorns there. There's butterflies there. There's so much stuff. Cats. Um, there's family crest. So somebody's family crest or family name might be uh, on the line. We got books. We got knowledge. We got wealth. All right. So be mindful because also poverty there. I'm not pulling any more cards, but thief is at the bottom of the deck. So be mindful of who you get connected to is what I have to tell you. Okay. So there's that all right let's see what else we got so let's pull these I do see death, so something coming to an end. That's a, a beginning and an ending, okay? So something fresh, something new, a change. All right, so seeing beyond. We got believe in your personal power. You can actually do this. Justice, boldness, dominion, decisions, planning, and your first steps. All right, so if you fan, plan a fa if you fail to plan, you plan to fail, okay? So just be mindful of that. We got togetherness, unions, balance, settled energies. So I feel like she's on the right pathway. As far as writing, journaling, doing the things that you need to do, they're saying get that done because it needs to be subconscious mind focused on, you know, 3D, uh, bringing things into the reality. Believe in your personal power. You have the power to get this done. Or you might not even realize how much your manifestations or your thoughts are bringing into this reality, okay? So there's that. All right, so let's see what the connections are. All right, and then the fool. We already talked about this. This card's already here, so this is confirmation. Spread your wings and fly. Anticipation, wonder, curiosity, all a new journey, and care is needed. All right, so be mindful of your processes, but care is needed. But this could also be somebody thinking that the situation or whatever you're about to do is foolish because you may be cutting ties with these people. Because I feel like somebody's actually breaking out. Somebody's getting out of imprisonment, okay? And you may just be finding that your journey is just not no longer in alignment with what their journey is as well. But at this moment, it's basically about you, all right? All right, so we got 10. Um, and I don't know why that was two 10s right there. So 10, 10 is also completion. It's finished, it's over. Um, it has ended for better or for worse. This card always gives me marriage vibes. And as y'all know, marriage is a blend, a partnership, a connection. Somebody that you would have been closely, you know, connected to. It has ended, ended and finished for better or for worse. It's over. You may feel stabbed in the back. You may, may have felt like you could not continue or go on. But guess what? Believe in your personal power. Spread your wings and fly. It's like giving Phoenix energy. You can do this. You got this. It also talks about your final manifestation and completions, all right? The results of your true free will. You are the architect, the, the captain, all right? So we got sometimes the victory is not worth the, worth the price. So don't engage. Whatever this, this is, you let them have that. Somebody may have stabbed you in the back. You let them have that. And it's funny that it went from 5 to 10, half of that. So 50-50, you might have been going 50-50 with somebody. Meanwhile, 
everybody, what, what was they doing with the other 50? Lying, cheating, stealing, conniving. So we got unexpected energy here, conflict, movement, and change. Sometimes a victory is just not worth the price. It's not even worth engaging with this person. You know the person a liar. You know the person a, a cheater, a, a thief, and all this other extra. Because, you know, time, money, or energy. So wasted time. That's stealing. You may have wasted time with these energies. All right? So we got uh, fire sign, Aries, uh, air signs. Um, Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, more Aquarius. I don't even know why they always in people's business. That's the thing that be blowing me all the time. Like, these people say in somebody's business. Um, I don't get it. All right, so we got, uh, and uh, didn't I say half of that, and then it's two? So two times five would be ten? All right, so it's basically like finding, finding balance, all right? Finding balance in your life. Um time money or energy so it would be juggling as well so juggling time money or energy trying to keep the balls in the air trying to be in a line in alignment in alignment but i was getting ready to say uh um keeping things in alignment or i don't even know see how shit is just happening right now aries leo and sagittarius and then we got earth signs um so these are just signs of people that you could be potentially dealing with but i feel like again that thing um it's forgetful energy so that's what it's giving me and i don't know what that is um long cycle ended long cycles ended and good riddance i know that's the fuck right so long cycle ended, good riddance. So air signs, fire signs. So it's everybody. Basically, you're just dealing with all types of energies out here. And it could be intertwined into like the families and, you know, the connections that we're making. All right. Find your balance in your life. Build your success. Duality, union, balance, love, a settling of energies, adaptability, changing in your circumstances, argumentative. Like I said, sometimes a victory isn't worth the price. It's not even worth to argue with these people. Take it how it comes and just going about your business because you already seen. Um, it's like, uh, what is it? Actions speak louder than words. You saw what they did. They stabbed you in the back. Why are you trying to, you know, kind of still deal with these folks or these situations when you already know the people are up to no good? That's it. All right. Somebody going through karma again. So will of fortune. You have strength and new beginnings. Um, like I said, because that would be two tens. That started off 20, broke it down to 10. Then it went to five. Everything's being cut in half. So if you're dealing with a person and y'all going to court for a separation of marriage, they get ready to split everything in half. All right? Take what you got and go. You might not like that, but that's what it's looking like. Or you may have been broken down to half of what you had before you got started because that's the way I feel. So that may be the thing. Either way, you came back to a 10. Yes, time to figure it out. Time to cut it out. Your strength and new cycles begin. So change, chance, fate, happiness, cycles, destiny, luck, and karma. That's the second time that luck is on this table. All right. So God, if God be for you, who could be against you? Um, I got good luck and I got things that are changing. So take action on your ideas. Life is moving ahead. We got movement. We got speed. We got quick decisions. Change, boldness, excessive force, generosity, and somebody get ready to get on a flight to go somewhere. We got changes, contributions, rebirth, truth, and fairness. And I told y'all somebody was moving. And then on top of that, here we got this sneaky mother sucker coming out again. Lying, cheating, stealing. Didn't I say that already? That ten of swords came with somebody playing in your face. Lying, cheating, stealing. It says guard against sneaky behavior. This could be the person on their way. And literally, what if they reading this back? This this could be me being needing to read it backwards, okay? So, um, look, taking a deeper, a closer look at what you at what you have invested your time in. So if I go this way, because it looks like somebody's looking at a high priestess, like they stole from them. Because now we would go this way. Um, so high priestess, trust your own counsel first. Change, fluctuation, wisdom, sound judgment, common sense, awareness, intuition. 
the balance of opposites and decisions. So somebody trying to hide something from a high priestess. Somebody's initials are B, somebody's initials are J, and along with all them other ones, because I um, C, um, and somebody's initials are CJ, or that's somebody's name, something junior, Chris Jr., Craig Jr. You see what I'm saying? Um, but it's given that. So CJ, the J could be Junior, or it could be Johnson, it could be uh, John, it could be uh, Jones, okay? Take it how it resonates. Either way, somebody stole something, they're leaving. Sneaky behavior, guard against deceit and concealment, dishonesty, betrayal, strategy, tactics, trickery, low self-esteem. And I said something about somebody's self-esteem in this reading already, so that's confirmation on that. All right, hidden, going this way. Take action on your ideas. Whoever stole this, that was action on their ideas. Somebody could have been born in 87, all right, or 78. Take it hard. It resonates for you. We got um, movement speed, quick decisions, change, boldness, excessive force, or generosity. Karma being here. Will of fortune. You have strength and new beginnings. But good, bad, ugly, or indifferent. So somebody's behavior put them in this mode. Um, juggling time, money, or energy, bills, trying to keep everything, all the balls together, um, trying to be balanced and, and not having any wiggle room for anything. But then it says no engagement. So sometimes a victory isn't worth the price. Um, selfishness, you got to be selfish in certain things. Don't engage with the, these people. Focus on your finances. Focus on um, your time management, your time skills. Um, because money is time and time is energy. So focus on your energy also here. Um, then it says it's finished. You cutting these people off. Because literally, I don't know why it took us forward only to take us back to reread it. So this was the process that we had to go through in order for things to be done. You cut them off and now you're at the beginning and now it's a new vision. Seeing things differently. So don't ask me why we got to take the long way in order to get back to the beginning or to start, but it's like the start of. It's like the cycle continues. The cycle continues. Um, again, the never-ending story keeps coming to mind, and that's my favorite childhood book, the never-ending story. The saga continues. So now we get ready to start all over again. Do you have the skills? Do you have the lessons? Do you have what it takes to now avoid some of the pitfalls and downfalls of the previous relationships in the previous times? So Pisces, this is the reading. Hopefully it helps. Thank you guys for coming towards my channel. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and go with God.